Hi Mike's Carburetor Parts. I'm going to adjust the uh, vacuum brake on this monojet one barrel carburetor. Uh, when you hear about vacuum brake, choke pull off, uh, what's the other uh, choke pull down, uh, they all pretty much mean the same thing and what it is 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 that when you step on the gas and the engine is closed or excuse me cold and the choke is closed um, if you step on the gas and you don't uh, get the choke open a little bit it's going to stall out probably because you don't have enough air so what the vacuum brake does is when you step on the gas it opens the choke slightly about like that and lets a little more air in it and like I say it's a different measurement so uh, first thing you need is a rubber band Put the rubber band out like so, and that just keeps pressure on it, so so it pulls it back. So you while you're testing, and I use a uh, piece of wire for my measurement down there because what you're measuring is the bottom of the valve here. You're measuring the gap that's in right in here when it's open. I don't know if you can see that or not. There there will be a gap there. You can see it better up here. I wish the measurement was up here. Okay, you can use a measuring tape or whatever and kind of guess that. But I usually, uh, I like to get a piece of wire. I just bend the end of it and grind it off until I get a quarter inch in this case. And that's what I use. It's a go-no-go -go kind of thing. And, you know, if it fits down in there, uh, you're, you know you're good. So to do this, I like to say put the rubber band on. Hold the throttle open a little bit. Uh, I just put this drill bit in to hold it. Otherwise, it's going to hit this uh, fast idle cam and uh, not let the choke valve do what you want it to do. And then you uh, allow the choke to open and push the vacuum brake, this right here, this rod, push it that way. There's a diaphragm right here. So you're pushing it as far as it'll go. And, and then you measure that gap down there. Okay, you need four hands to do this. If you don't, you may need a friend. <laughs> All right, so if you need to adjust that gap, what you do is, is you can bend this right here, back or forward, whichever you need, or bend the, the, this part down here, we, either way. Uh, bend it one way or the other, and that will change it. And that's all there is to it. So, and the main, you know, the measurement, not, not as, not as important as the fact that it opens a little bit. Okay, there you go. I hope that helps you. Uh, you can find a kit for this carburetor, by the way, at uh, mikescarb.com. That's M-I-K-E-S-C-A-R-B.com. Thank you for watching.